Yo, what is up guys, Ultraballs back. Uh, first time doing a vid for Doc in quite a while, mostly because I just don't record videos anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, the amount of time I spend on Mons is like pretty much dedicated to, well like for me right now is like doing snake stuff, so I just don't really have much time. But yeah, okay, we have a nice um, OLT series here, round three between ABR and Zooktrust. Um, pretty sure the actual way you're supposed to say it is like if you have something caught in your throat, like Zuch or something like that. That's what Doc says at least, but I don't know how to do that. So we're going to say it the, Amer the American way. We'll call him Zook Trust. Uh, yeah, so I think both these players are 2-0. Uh, so this is definitely a hype series for sure. This is game one. We see ABR bring some nice Zam, like bulky offense. Kind of like the sort of builds he's been liking a lot, I'd say, recently. Sometimes he uses Mawile, sometimes he uses Zam. Uh, you see the first couple turns going across your screen, but I don't feel like going back, so... I guess we'll just start talking about it now. <laughs> uh, Zook has a nice uh, nice Metacham offense. I'm not the biggest fan of teams like these just because they tend to be very frail and weak to a lot of stuff. Like, look at Heatran. You have like a one-time switch in and Gren and that's it, which is like not good to me, but yeah. Um, Metacham is definitely a huge threat for ABR. Um, pretty much like if the Medi comes, gets in on the, on the Tran, he just has to make like one good ice punch prediction and then Medicham just going to start killing stuff left and right. So yeah, ABR throws up the rocks on the switch to Gren. Uh, now ABR is most likely going into Tornadus or into the Tangrowth. Uh, Torn is a... Is he just Earth Powers predicting either spikes? That's an aggressive play, but it works out for him. Uh, I thought he might go Torn because it catches the double to Medicham and you live any hit pretty much unless you're like Orb Ice Beam. Uh, assuming that it's bulky torn, which is what it looks like to me. It uh, goes out to Landris here. We'll see if he ice punched. He thunder punches. Um, don't really get the th thunder punch play unless he doesn't have ice punch. Like, if you're going to predict something, ice punch. Otherwise, high jump kick, I'd say. Uh, U-turns on the helmet, so it's going to be Rox Landris on Zook's side. Uh, which means his Scarfer, if he has one, is the Gren. Um, yeah. Uh, if he does, because... Uh, unless it's Scarf Coco, but that's, that's like, pretty, pretty trash. It's very, like, team-specific. I guess on this team it could be because you also have a gear to help with Tornadus. But, yeah. Uh, all right. Torn comes out. Probably going to just fire off, like, a cane or a U-turn. Uh, if, like, Z like this Landers will live any hit. So, if just wants to throw up the rocks, he can. Uh, but he does just go Coco. Uh, ABR, Z, -mo Z oh, it's, uh, it's offensive Torn. Uh, does a lot. But now the Coco could just roost that off pretty freely. Um... Is ABR is probably going to go into 10 growth here. And it's probably Scarf Lando on ABR side. So he goes... See, it might be Scarf Coco on Zook's side, honestly. Uh, the fact that you, if you had Roost, I feel like you would go for it there. Because uh, now this thing can't come into Torn again. Like I said, you do have a gear, so it's not the biggest problem, but... Yeah. Uh, so now ABR is probably going to, like I said before, um, Torn or Tran... Or, yeah, Torn or Tang, I, I mean. Um, like, Torn's good, because if this is Battle Bond, you live any hit, you get to scout what it wants to go for, and you don't risk the Tang growth eating, like, a Gunk or an Ice Beam. But the fact that you're Offensive Tornadus means that if it is Ice Beam uh, Gren, you're not eating that. So, it's like, you can't really scout as, like, efficiently against Gren when you're Offensive Torn. Like, Helmet Torn could come in on, like, Protean Ice Beam, at least once just to see, like, you know, you can help scout this set. Because right now, ABR has no idea what this Gren is. But the fact that he's E-Move Torn means, like, going to this is a little harder. But it is, it's U-Turn Ash Gren. Nice unset. Uh, out comes the Coco again. Uh, Coco, if it has Roost, it should go for it. But, like, the way it's being played, I don't think it has Roost. So we see Zam come out here on the HP Ice. Lives on one. So like I said, I doubt this is Roost. He would have went for it. So the Gren comes out. We'll see if ABR wants to make a good prediction there with the um, going for the Focus Blast. But he just doubles out to the Tran. Um, to Torn on the Dark Pulse. That does a bajillion. Uh, and you see ABR. One of the problems that I have with his team is that he is his Dark Resist is Gren. Which always like scares me because... Um, if you, because like if your dark resist is Gren, normally you get flinched one time on your Tang and you just lose. Um, the Giga Drain did not kill the Metacham. I'm a little surprised by that. Uh, the double on Zook's part was good, but yeah, yeah if it, I didn't realize it'd be out of, or like I didn't realize it was out of range at Giga. Um, so Zen's there. So does this thing not have 
Well, it never faked out. It has Zen and it has Thunder Punch. It has to have Ice Punch. If you're running, like, Thunder Punch Medicham without having Ice Punch, like, you need to reevaluate your life because that's pretty terrible. Um, Ferrothorn comes out here. I'm sure we'll see, like, a Dark Pulse. Yeah, because at this point, I'm pretty certain that the gear is going to be some sort of setup. Uh, normally, you don't need, like, a defensive gear with, like, a Spadef Ferrothorn. That doesn't really make sense. Uh, but it did 40, so, like, this is, like, a mixed defensive Ferrothorn, I'm pretty sure. Seeds up on the Trans Switch. And now, I assume Gren's coming back out, or we sack the Medicham. Those are like the two options. Or I guess, or sack Coco. I think Gren's the only thing that really wants to come in here on a Magma. I think it's still healthy, so that'd be a good play. We double into Tangrowth to catch the Gren, which is a really nice play, because that thing was in range of two Dark Pulses. Um, and he would have pretty much had to pick to the to the Gren, which would that would have been pretty much game over, I think, for ABR. Goes to Torn. That play is... Was I just I don't need, I don't know I dark pulsing there is like a in my opinion a bad play but it worked out for him um, and now LA, ABR didn't lose that much because you lose like thirty percent on torn but like I, I didn't really you know like that was such like a high risk low reward play I feel like dark pulsing there from Zook's part uh, he gigas here kills the grand. The only reason I could see him doing this is if he thinks it's a setup opportunity for gear. Yup. So that's why he dark pulsed. That's why he dark pulsed into the um, into the tang. I think is because he wanted to try and set up with this, but then he didn't even set up. So slightly confused. Uh, that earthquake did a lot. I'm pretty sure that's offensive gear damage. Uh, yeah. Uh, but you now you have to kill the tang growth. You can't set up or you die. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that Zook has no defog, um, unless it's like defog Coco, but defog Roostless Coco, unless it's like defog Scarf, I don't know, it's weird, it's weird, because it's Rocks Landorus, so, um, well it's Helmet Lando, I assume it's Rocks and Spikes on Pharaoh, so he does set up here and just dies to Earthquake, so, like, I'm so confused by that series of plays, like, what the hell, that didn't make any sense. Okay, so now you're gonna go into Tornadus here on the Helmet Lando, it feels like a pretty safe, easy play to make, and the Coco's gonna be in range of any attack, I think it's at, like, it might even be dead to rocks, if it's not dead to rocks, it's gonna come in at, like, 1%. Throws off the cane, does a good chunk to the Landorus, and the Landorus hits himself, um, and we see the forfeit. So yeah, I, like, I just... Like I said before, I think these teams are weird because I think they're too weak to a lot of stuff, like the one that Zooks is, was using. Um, the Medicham was dead to rocks, and you see Doc scrolling over the uh, percentages here, and the Coco was p uh, potentially dead to rocks, depending on you know the exact percentage. But I just felt like I don't know that I just don't like teams like that. I think they're really like they they just like they rely too much on you just outplaying the shit out of your opponent um, because they're weak to so much. ABR, I thought, played well. I thought Zook made a couple, like, overly aggressive plays. Like, if you're going to try and sack Gren to set up with gear, then why did you not set up with it? I don't understand. Um, but, yeah, so this is game one. Uh, we'll have game two soon. See our nice end screen right there. Um, yeah, and I'll be back with game two soon. Uh, so, peace.